Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Sorry for the weird rays of light. The sun's coming in and I tried to block um, most of them, but you know how that is. You can't really help some of it. Um, <clears throat> I hope you're all doing awesome today. And I have a couple projects that I want to work on for my new journal. So come on in and hang out with me and craft with me and we'll just have a good old time. Um, I think I've gotten fairly organized, but I'm not going to make huge promises. <laughs> the first thing that I have is a um, just a business envelope with the window in it. And I've cut just a teeny sliver off of this side, and off of this side I cut quite a bit. Let me see, do I have the other piece that I cut off? Um, about three and a half inches. So that was the other side of it, but you know, I'm, everybody's gotten these before. Um, so um, that way I can open it up and do some stuff on the inside of it, which is also nothing new. So that's what I was saying. If you've got something to work on, then that would be great. Um, this, These little envelopes are from Medieval Missives, uh, Volume 3. And I'll link it below because I could be wrong on which one it is. It's either um, 3 or 4. But anyways... Um, I'm going to cover the little window so it kind of looks like, you know, an address peeking out through there. And also that allows me to do some other things inside the envelope. So, yeah, let's see. I need a book. A glue book. I thought I had everything, but I never do. I guess you should just know that I'll never be that organized. <laughs> it's just a given. Just know it. Try, but it never works. There's a posh of hair. All right, so like I said, oh my goodness, look at look at the Pasha hairs. Like this was just sitting down next to my couch because I was working on some stuff last night, and um, on the table, and still, it has Pasha hair everywhere. I think he's he needs a clip and a wash is what he needs. So he's shedding pretty bad, even though it's freezing cold. It's like, dude, why are you shedding right now? Crazy little animal. But anyway, I mean, he's there's always fur around because, you know, he's a long-haired cat, but other there are times that are worse than others. So I am kind of putting it like that. I'm going to very carefully do this and get my art glitter glue. So yeah, I just thought um, a couple envelope projects are always fun. So we'll just put a little glue down here. And, you know, loads of people have decorated these type of envelopes. This isn't anything exciting, but maybe for some people it might be new. Because I've got quite a few people who've told me they're new to junk journaling, so that is awesome. Welcome, because junk journaling, the junk journaling com community, in my experience, is very welcoming and very awesome. So, I think that you will enjoy it as a craft. And I really do p hope that more people start doing it because I think that, you know, that allows for more supplies and just, you know, we might not be able to find all the cool old stuff as well because lots of people will be buying it. But, um, you know, if people do some remakes and digis and whatever, it just kind of makes it fun the more stuff that's out there. Not that you have to buy a lot of stuff either. The other really cool thing about it is a lot of it's not super expensive. So compared to some crafts, that's really nice. So that's that. And then I think we can work on the outside while that kind of dries in there. And I was just going to kind of collage it and do whatever, whatever floats my boat at the moment. So we're having, um, like I, I keep saying, very weird weather temperature goes way down and then it comes up to like 40 and I don't know it's so, just all over the place this year it's like it can't decide if it wants to be winter or spring or fall or winds blowing a million miles an hour today so it feels like fall but it's so cold that we couldn't um, have the kids outside because the temperature is too low so yeah it's just um, crazy crazy I'm going to kind of do something like that, tear it off about here, and this top edge isn't going to be torn, but I just, I don't want to tear off any more of that um, old doily that's up there. 
So I'm not... This part, though, I need to figure out how to get around. Because I want to be able to see in the envelope, obviously. So yeah, I want to thank everybody that is new to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And of course, welcome to all of my wonderful subbies who comment every time. and Or even if you don't comment, you just like to watch, that's awesome too. But it's super fun when people comment and tell me cool things. And you guys always have great ideas. Because, you know, I don't always think of everything. Because there's a million ways to do everything, it seems. So, um... You know, everybody's got their tips and tricks and fun stuff. And I can add another little something across there, so I'm just, I'm just winging it. So if you get driven crazy by the non-measuring thing, then you, this video will probably drive you crazy. <laughs> so, fair warning, <laughs> if you want to bail now. <laughs> Not great with that, as I discussed last time at nauseum. I hear that some of you aren't either, so you can relate to my insanity. Just roughing that up a little. It was a little too straight. I don't know why that bothers me, but for whatever reason it does. It's like perfect imperfection or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ink around this too. Sorry I didn't get that far. I tried to like kind of at least prep everything a little bit so that it wouldn't be totally boring. But if you're doing a craft with me, it's probably just time to hang out, which I like. I think I need to cut along there a little bit better because I might just even it up with this line is what I actually might do because I'm not liking the way that's off for one very crooked for another see that um and that's the envelope that's not me so I think I'm just gonna even off the whole thing and I do have it on my cutting side Poor Denise was like, Amy, you know there's a cutting side <laughs> and a folding side. You flip this little, this blue piece right here over and one side is for cutting and one side is for folding. <laughs> but yes, it's on the cutting side. You have to be smarter than the cutter and that's asking some stuff from me. Go ahead and do this edge in here since we got this going. Just in case we see any of that. Hopefully, I, well, I mean, I'm going to obviously try not to let a whole lot of that show because I'm making a um, kind of Valentine's ish journal, and so this doesn't really go with that. I mean, black can, of course, but. a little better. Uh, the back doesn't matter. It's going to get glued down to a page. Okay, so this needs to come off a little bit. I thought it was alright, but it's not. I'm going to go up and down a little because I'm going to put something else there too. Alright, so that will go there. And we need a little something kind of under it. Maybe some type paper. I just love every page in here. You could just tear anything out and it looks cool. <laughs> it's really fun. 
Ooh, this is super cool. Hmm. I think I just want that piece all together because it's just neat looking. Let's go with kind of in the middle here. Oh, did I? I just tore across the bottom of that. Oh my goodness. Well, at least all the words and stuff are still there. That's the cool part. So I'm going to tear it out right now so I don't go tearing it up another time. Doing my thing. It's just cool looking. It'd be fun to stick in a pocket or something. hard part is that middle and I never know exactly how to do that maybe we'll do tear a section off just like a few lines and then have a few lines for the bottom maybe that will work okay and the sides I'll figure something out Uh, that's why decoupaging with napkins a lot of times is really good on these because um, it's just a little bit easier, I think, than trying to do the full collage thing. I've done it with fabric, too. I like doing that. And then stitch all over it. I've got some videos um, from last summer where I did some of that. But this one, we're sticking with paper. tried to send you or give you one of my hairs. That was really nice of me, right? Luckily I saw it. I guess that's always a hazard in handmade goods, right? <laughs> uh. Alright, and then we can put this one here. There's still some spots along here, so... I need to figure out. There's just not enough to go around there. Probably just some of these random pieces that I've torn off. You can just make it pretty random. It doesn't, it's not like a big thing. That side I might cover entirely with something else. So for now, I think I'm just going to do this one and I'll do it under so that you don't see it quite as much. I just don't want that weird white corner right there. I could just ink it, I guess, but we'll just do this. It's kind of like a band aid. screen here. I only really need like, I think I'll just tear off two of these and then I'll cut off whatever else is left. have to go all the way across over here but it's fine. Ah. 
to pay me, really. It's so nice with this glass mat. Somebody was asking me if I like it, and I really do like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the glare on the black. Um, that's probably not great for you guys, but I really like the mat itself. It's great for cutting and, um, you know, I just, I like being able to wash it off really easily every time. I just Windex it off after each session and that seems to keep it really nice. And like I did do the paint on here and I've done glue and it just wipes right off. It's not hard at all. This is not exactly straight. Shocking. Let's try to line it up with the top. How about that? And it definitely doesn't look perfect, you know, like, the, but I kind of like that. But if you like yours, you know, you can trim it all nice so that it's looking the way you like it. Let's get, I had I have a long piece. Oh, I was going to put this stamp up here. So I don't want anything that's going to totally get covered. I'm going to kind of tear these flowers out a bit. And I'm tearing off those straight sides. Something kind of like that. And I can trim any extra off. What I'm gonna do. Okay. You can also just, of course, cut straight edges if you um, don't like that torn, jaggedy, raggedy look. But I do, so. since it's supposed to be an envelope. Take this one a little bit more. I'm going to kind of cut it, you know, just randomly. there and then this is um, from Joff's Medieval Mirage it's the feminine finesse add-on you can find one of them oh my goodness well when I find oh there it is I have a whole stack of her paper there. Um, Add-on for feminine finesse is what these stamps, where they come from. And it's cool because she's got the great big ones too, which is kind of fun. Just something different. I'm just going to do with that lid, but something. I was going to do something with it. Right there. 
right? And these little pieces I'll keep because who knows, I could use them in lots of places. And this is Medieval Missives, and I found its add-on part three is where I got all this. So it has like the cool rose, but this one I've backed with some book page just to make it thicker. So I just went ahead and, you know, use that one. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it with my postal stamp thing. I guess I need to stop letting him up on my table. <laughs> he just likes to get up here and he rolls around and I don't know. He's a nut. He's a little nut brain. Okay, so there's the front of that. And we could put something else on there, but I'll, let me just, let's do the inside and then we can think on that. And I think I wanted to use some of um, Denise's avocado dye. Denise from one of our crafts. And I'm pretty much going to just cover this whole inside in this. Um, and I do want it edge to edge, so I'm going to cut it with the cutter. Because I want to cover up as much of this black as possible. And as far as I know, I haven't talked to Denise um, in the last two days. But I know she was done, and she did a video saying she has all her avocado dye done and in the shop. So... Unless it's all sold, <laughs> which is possible, it's there. So, and she won't be doing any more for, I think she said three to six months or something like that because she um, just hasn't been able to do anything else, which, you know, she feels blessed to be able to do this. It's just that, you know, she likes to craft too. So, and then the, her other dilemma was um, she couldn't get avocados for a while. So that was another issue that she had. So she's just going to give it a bit until summer or whatever. And then uh, she'll do it again. How did I cut that too big still? Seriously, like a lot too big. Ugh. Helps if you have the lead out. On a little pencil. And how much do I need to cut off of here? Man, that wind, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is a gale force out there today. It's crazy. grew up in a small western town, you know, um, mining town, and the wind there sometimes was just incredible, but we don't have it too awful here usually. I mean, that's not to say it never happens, because clearly it does, but um, nothing like we would get in the winter there, but I was also up in the mountains, so... But it almost shocks me now because I've been away for a while and when we do get at these big wind things, I'm like, what is going on? Whereas there, I just didn't even think about it. It was just was like an everyday occurrence, really. And the wind blew every day there, um, usually after 4, 4 p.m., but uh, every day. So that's the nice part about where I'm at now. It blows, but it's not every day. Because that gets old. I didn't know any different, you know, as a kid growing up. But when I would go back and visit after being away, it was like, ah, the wind. Why? Is it me? Or, I mean, yeah, probably. But it feels like this, this uh, envelope is crooked. got some of those distress crayons. I've got one of those faux memo machines coming and I thought those might work kind of cool on that 
those things you print out on those, the pictures and stuff. I'll be doing a video on it because it was a, it's kind of a promotional kind of thing they're sending me one to show you guys. So I'm excited because I wanted one of those for Christmas. <laughs> And so, um, when they approached me, I was jazzed. It was like, sure, I'll, I'll do that. I'll try it. Pretty cool. Or they look cool anyway. I have no idea. But, um, my goodness. They look fun. Something different to do. I either cut that paper crooked or this envelope's crooked. It could be either because, like I said, that envelope did not seem very straight. When I cut the top off. So let's just... Actually, that back there doesn't matter. It's more of these, the black showing that's bugging me. I also probably put it on very crooked. We're just going to trim it off and pretend that we put it on perfectly straight. You guys are like, hey, don't say we. We had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's all you, lady. Yeah, I put it on really crooked. I stink at that. There's that much, and we're going to decorate the inside before I fold it. I need to just remember up and down so I don't mess it up. This is from um, Feminine Finesse, the add-on. So this one doesn't have the volumes and all that, so that makes it a, a little bit easier. But I'll still link it below so you can just click on it and go over there if you're interested in this one. It's beautiful. All these beautiful colors and roses and things. And this one um, is a pocket, like it has the flaps and everything, so that's kind of cool because then you can put a little bit more inside, which is always a good thing. So that one is going to go here. I just want to make sure I know where the fold is because, you know, that's important when you're gluing on a pocket. close to those edges so hopefully they will stay down I think that's uh, straight. I think. Appears to be super pretty. Love, love, love her paper. <laughs> this is uh, one of my uh, tags from my Digi, and I backed it with um, this was coffee dyed paper. So I'm gonna poke her in there. Show you at the bottom. And then this is Medieval Mirage. That's a feminine finesse add-on, and I backed it with the pink painters tape or tape paper that you can get at Home Depot. That's where you get that rose colored. It comes in a giant roll. Just FYI, that's how it comes. But the good news is you can use it to paint and to craft. <laughs> so put that in there. Um, let's see, this is a littler one. I don't know that that one will even be noticed. I, I guess it will poke out still. And that's one of the Feminine Finesse ones, and I backed it with the pink as well. 
I just sat the other night and did loads of tags and just backed everything because you ever get doing stuff and um, you're just like oh I still have to back that <laughs> I get that way maybe it's just me <laughs> and this is from my um, old love notes digi and it's just a funny little drawing I found on New York Public Library and she's got on oh, sorry this heart hat with arrows in it and she's holding flowers and everything it just kind of cracked me up I like that and I'll probably stitch some fabric up there but this is just to kind of give you an idea you can load that up and then the other thing I wanted to do was take this which is from Feminine Finesse and just kind of put it in here I'm gonna just fold it in half and glue one side down and leave the other side loose so that you can fold it down but and write on it and then you know fold it back up kind of thing journal on it whatever so I'm going to ink that oh, that was some not straight folding And you could technically, well, I guess you can, well, you could write on the back side when it's folded up. Because if you glue that envelope down, obviously that will make it a little bit tricky, but I think it'll be all right. What are we at? 31 minutes? Oh, good. So I should have time to do the other envelope pocket thingy I want to show you. I just love the roses in this um, Digi of Joff's. Super pretty. Super pretty. So I'm just going to put glue on half of that. Sorry if I get my head in there. I'm trying to get this as straight as I possibly can. It needs to go up a little more still. Almost to the top of that fold. Come on. Ah, that's right at the right there. free card because I want a car or whatever <laughs> no I get so tired of all that garbage mail okay so now it's like you're thinking how is that going to stay closed and journal and so I am taking a page from Tina at Chevy Debbie Duda and I should have got this out too and I did not but I'm going to use some of the cording that Denise sent to me thank you Denise as a gift, I mean all of it was a gift, but this cording is in her um, avocado dyed stuff. So I think I'm going to use this one right here. I like this one too, but I think I just want a little bit not as fuzzy and bumpy. And so I'm going to put this back here and glue this down. And then when I glue it to a page, obviously it'll it'll be on there. That's if I can untangle it from the card. And we don't need a ton. Just need enough to tie around it. And you could go the other direction too. I uh, just, since I'm putting some taller tags and whatnot in there, I don't want to go around that direction. If I got these even, that might help. Oh my goodness. 
Why do I get all thumbsy when I do these things? Okay. I'm not going to cut it just yet because um, when I tie it for the final time, if it's off, then I'll cut it. But I don't want to cut it now and then I'm like, why did I cut that? It's, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. For now, I'm just going to put a piece of washi on the back to kind of hold it down. And I know you're not going to see this beautiful washi, so that's a bummer, but I just want to make sure that it's not sliding up and down on there. Okay, so I, I stole that from Tina. She does that, and I think it's cute. I've never had a specific use, but ta-da! There it is. So there's one. The other envelope I wanted to work on is... One of these seed envelopes with the um, big, <laughs> like opening, you know, with the plastic in there. Wow, <laughs> brain. And um, so I took this is from Medieval Mirage, and it was the Feminine Finesse, and uh, this is just the regular Feminine Finesse kit. And so it's basically this, but I cut this center part out so I can put it on here and you can still see. So we're going to cover the background a bit because I, um, if the gray is not working for me for this particular journal. Uh, not, I don't have anything against gray, I just, for this it's not working for me. So I got to figure out what I want to cover it with. I'm thinking probably some of that typing paper or, let's see, I like the look of this, <laughs> but I don't have a piece that's very big. Maybe some of this music would work. That would look. Okay, and this is Feminine Finesse Volume Two. some bits, you know, to like kind of cover it, but it doesn't have to be super duper covered. just needs to have something so that the gray isn't showing but you could totally do this and you know have the gray showing it's all personal preference Ugh, stop. I might put a, a heart right here I just have to find one that I want it needs something right there and that's what I feel like it's needing I mean, I don't want this to be like super cutesy. I want it a little more vintagey, but um, you know, I do have some kind of cute cupids and things. So All right, I can just ink that. And you're not going to see any of that around the edge. And I know I'm covering up a lot of the window, which seems kind of silly. But um, I tried it with some other business type envelopes that I had that have the window. And it just, it wasn't like centered enough where I wanted it. And I don't know. So these were working the best for what I wanted. And since you get a bunch of them in a package, I figured not having the big window in one is not really the end of the world. So... That's what I'm doing. Thought that was my glue over there, but it was my decoupage. <laughs> when you're surrounded by mess, and it's actually not too bad right now, but there's always just stuff that sit here because it has to, or I don't have it. So when I need it, it's a dilemma. We'll cover that other side with something else. 
Maybe some roses. You won't see a whole lot of the roses, but it's okay. The color, and then there's like one red rose in that uh, image. So that will work well. So I'm just going to tear a little bit of this off. Yeah, maybe. You have to hold down the ruler where it's tearing, Amy. Amazing. Amazing how that works. I think um, Dee Dee Farrago right now is working on a winter journal using uh, my Winter Wonder Digi. And I think Denise is going to start one using this Digi, the Love Notes, Old Love Notes. And poor Allie, she has been moving. And um, the new place that she moved into needed paint and stuff, so she'd just been painting and decorating her little heart out. I was actually worried about her, but I got a hold of her today, and she told me that's what she's been up to. I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, I knew she was probably busy doing that, but I just hadn't heard anything from her, so I was a little bit worried, but she's doing good. She's just trying to make her place the way she wants it which we all understand. So I'm glad that she was able to find some place and is moved and getting settled. And then uh, Rachel and Samantha, I'm not sure exactly what their next project will be. I wonder if I put this down this low, if that would be, no, it doesn't, uh, I could cover it with something else up there. Is it upside down? It was upside down, huh? <laughs> ah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's going to open this way. <laughs> and now, because otherwise my music and everything, not that you really see any of that over there. I might go ahead and tear around this just so it's not so straight but I need to find something to put up at the top. So I think maybe I'm going to use one of these. I like the tops of these. Well, I like the whole thing. But... Is it going to be... So excited I'm making um, pot roast French dips <laughs> and the reason this is exciting is because we um, can't eat beef because my husband can't eat beef but he um, isn't going to be home for dinner so it's like yay I get to have some beef I know that's silly but sometimes you just kind of miss stuff like I don't usually I mean care a whole lot but um, I mean I actually scoot it over a little bit to cover up where the gray is over here I'm just going to kind of straighten that out a little bit. That's the only thing. It doesn't work to have that really jagged edge on the edge. Imagine that. Now I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Just one of those crazy thoughts that came to my brain at, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning or something ridiculous like that. And not that it's a new idea, but just this little tiny window here. Because I have something specific I want in the window. So I'm going to have to line it up very carefully. 
a little bit of this off. That way you'll be able to see some of the stuff I took the time to glue on there. I guess I could have just inked around the edges, but what fun is that? upside down like a dingling luckily I'm covering everything so it doesn't really matter it's upside down but that was a brilliant move <clears throat> I like these frames well you know um, if you watch have watched me for a while um, I love frames. I like to just put frames on pages. Well, I did that in that Winter Wonder Journal that I just finished. I did that one page that had just a frame with um, coffee dyed paper. I just like frames. I don't know. too sticky. I don't want to tear the little roses or something great like that. And I'm going to really glue the whole thing because I just, I don't, I'm not worried about the window. It'll just glue to it. I don't want that rose getting pulled off so I'm just going to line it up right under here as evenly as I can. And see, I knew there was a little strip down here, but we can cover that with something else. This one's getting thoroughly closhed. <laughs> Whole thing's covered. Uh, my fingers are sticking to this old paper. stuff like that. The randomness of it just appearing there. That's the cool thing with collage. You can do lots of little things that were mistakes and then fix them. Okay, so I have these, um, this couple, which is adorable. I think they're on a train or I don't know what, but smooching. So I thought it would be cute to have their faces just peeking out through here. So the trick is going to be to line up the journaling card that I put in there so that you can just see them, right? Right. right so I'm going to use one of my glue pages here and put a little more glue on it because this one didn't stick together very good. Put this one. I have about 10 more minutes, so hopefully we can get the journaling card made in that time. If not, it might be a little over, but of course you guys go whenever you need to. I understand. Now that you know the gist, right? Yeah. I'll probably cut it more than that, but just to give myself an idea. And I like to tear these because I think they look neat with the kind of frazzly edge there. Actually, I'm going to go a little more so that it goes in and out a little easier. Especially with its torn edge, I'll have to tear a teeny bit off the bottom too, but that's okay. Let's do this first.
that will work. And this will cover a lot of it, so I think we're just going to do that for that part. And then we can put some other stuff up and around. And like I said, the trick's going to be getting these two on here, right? And I don't want to cover it that much, and I think I want kind of not a straight edge. I'm sure you're surprised by that. This is on thicker paper. I like to print these kind of things on thicker paper sometimes. These ones are in my stash. <clears throat> I usually just find images, like I have said lots of times, on New York Public Library, um, the Met, uh, sometimes on Pinterest, especially like these old pictures because I know they're not under copyright anymore. Uh, things like that. That's where I usually find images. But if I see something, I like it, and I, you know, so a lot of times I'm not going to know exactly where I got it, so... That's kind of a bummer, I know, but <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of put this down, but again, I don't want the straight edge. And I've done this on parchment paper, and this is um, the Feminine Finesse. I think this was out in the add-on because it's all the like journaling cards and corner pockets and pockets stuff like that so kind of put this up and over and then we'll do some other stuff on there as well could use a piece of this from that kind of like this down here Let me know what you guys are up to. I always like to hear about projects. Very interesting. It's um, fascinating, you know, the stuff that people work on and whatever. And the ideas. It's always interesting. I love it. love this paper. I know I said I just I always love her paper so I guess it's not that shocking but um, I think I could use it. Well a lot of times I do in every project. It seems like I use her paper. Even before I was on her design team I just love her paper. It's like even just one little piece of it can make such a big difference. And just a lot of variety. She's got she's got boho stuff and like this one is a little bit more I would say kind of Victorian and I don't know she just has lots of different styles and then of course the medieval you know that's really her wheelhouse all the illuminated texts and things I need to remember to back this because that's something I seem to always forget and then I go to stitch it and duh, it hasn't even been backed yet. Ding -ling. I thought that was my lace. A piece of lace. Oh, you know it would be cute? This is kind of cute. This polka dot paper from Denise. Maybe I'll use a strip of that. That's my clock if you can hear it. do we need here? 
kind of want less of the deckel edge scissors down there. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to do that all the way up or it's going to look weird. Not sure what I was making. It's hard to say. Could have been anything. My hands are so gross. <laughs> my thumbnail looks like I never wash my hands. If you don't like messy hands, this is not the deal for you. Which I don't love it, but it's worth it to me. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and back that before I forget and do something silly. Uh, it's kind of pretty with this rose. This is Illuminated Flora from Medieval Mirage. I'm going to take this piece out. Okay, let's figure out how much of this we can get on here. I'm using the light coming in the window get an idea. I think I can do about right here. Take just a tiny bit more off of this side. And I'll save some of those little pieces because I can use them for other stuff. direction am I going to go with this? I think I want these roses at the top. Yeah, I like those up there. That'll work. Sorry I'm quiet. I guess I just don't have a whole lot to jabber about today. This winter thing makes me just want to sleep all the time. Are you guys like that? I don't know. I sometimes feel like humans were meant to like hibernate or something. Cause man, I don't know what it is, but in the winter I just get like, I want to sleep all the time. Maybe because it's warm, I don't know. I do not like the cold, it causes me pain. So maybe that's it. I know a lot of people love, you know, winter sports and skiing and doing all that stuff, but I cannot do it. Not anymore. Not that I was ever really into skiing, but definitely can't now. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be the trick, where to put it and how to figure this out. Oh, don't tell me it's too big. I thought I cut enough. Yeah, it's plenty. Okay, so it needs to scoop down. <laughs> I can tell that. Is that card all the way in there? needs to go. It's probably going to be the craziest. Maybe if I turn it this way a little more. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust it. Probably right there. Right there. Now if I can pull this one off. <laughs> I'm doing good. Because look at the angle it's at. <sighs> hmm. I don't love that, like that angle. Maybe if I take more off the bottom. 
So what I'm going to do is, where's my pencil? Right here. I'm going to do this, which is crazy, I know, because I'm drawing on my paper, but I'm not really sure how else to do this and make it happen. Somebody's probably screaming, going, you're so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you just, it's like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, we're putting it there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. have an idea. Where in the world? Gotta grab my old paper. Hold on just a second. So I have to go across the room over here to grab it. I think there should be some in here. There's uh, file folders. <laughs> and lined coffee dyed paper. Sorry, I'm just looking to see. And yes, it's a giant mess, I know. It's kind of cool. It's got a dime stamped on it. <laughs> so I know. But I have an idea. Just to try to kind of even that look of that out a little bit. No guarantees. I have my stamp that says love already on it. I should really use my other ink because my distress ink, it's, it works, but it's just kind of not as dark as I would like it to be. holding it there for a second, making sure I got it. Oh, I did get it. Yay. I'm going to do my scrunch thing, which you've all seen, if you've watched me for any amount of time. just kind of help balance it a little bit. Not the scrunching, but the um, gluing the piece of paper at more of the straight angle than the crooked one. I mean, I don't mind the crooked because I do that a lot, but um, it was just a weird angle, I guess is what I'm saying. So let's see how that's going to look. I like the back. I like that. what it keeps getting caught up on. It's just stiff. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Uh, it's a little high, but I think it worked because you can definitely still see them smooching in there. So that works. So we have this one and this one, which I need to add a little heart right here. Let me see if I have one real quick and then I'll let you guys go. Printed out all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is cute too. Where did that go? Ugh. That's kind of cute. My love to you. That wouldn't be bad up there. I kind of want a heart. Oh, I have these too. These roses from Medieval Mirage. Those aren't horrible either. Um, I thought I cut out some 
some parts. Yeah, I just went and got a bunch of stuff together and cut out and did all kinds of stuff. Just to get ready to do this. I have giant hearts. I thought I had a smaller one. Just that great big huge one. So I guess I'll just keep looking for a heart and I have this one. Can I cut it out real fast? Would that fit right there? Is it too big too? Oh, that fit. I won't do every little angle. I'll go around all of this just fairly quickly and leave the little white border because I'll ink it anyway. Makes it go a little faster, but I am not the fastest at this. I always marvel when I watch Rachel do it. <laughs> she's so fast <laughs> and she's left handed. I mean, not that that makes a difference, it just, it's crazy to watch. I don't know why. My dad was left-handed and I never even thought about it when he cut stuff out. But, you know, not that he did a lot of this stuff. He just, like, clipping something out of a newspaper or whatever. Yeah, that one fits. Alright, let's do that. And that's from my old love notes digi. Oh, and I keep getting people asking me what uh, glue stick, Scotch Create, Scotch Create, Scotch Create. That's what I use. And that is my favorite. And I have tried Uhu and I've tried pretty much everything you can probably imagine. And that is my favorite. So. And 25 pound ivory uh, parchment paper, which I'm fairly new to. That started because of my lovely friend Melody. Hi, Melody. Um, she did that journal for me at Christmas time, and also I bought one from her, and I love the parchment paper, so that's kind of how that started. So, yeah, we got two things made. Woo, two things in an hour. Uh, an hour and eight minutes. All right, thank you guys so much, and we'll talk again soon. Bye bye now.